Welcome to Her Champion Boxing Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. Let me fix this real quick. Listen, man. Edgar Blank and Canelo. Let's understand something. Now, I've done enough videos to talk as far as my opinion. I think Belanger is going to shock the world. But but when we take a closer look at this fight, there, there there's some there's some stuff here that, that I want to point out. Now, for Canelo, I keep talking about Berlanga's advantages, his height, his reach, um, nothing to lose, everything to gain. But I, I think for Canelo, Canelo, the shot that Canelo needs to try to throw is going to be that, that overhand coming over the top right that he likes to throw. That's the money punch for Canelo. You watch Canelo, right? Uh, when he fought Munguia, he wasn't really able to get that shot off because of the Munguia was boxing and stepping to him, but staying behind his jab and using his reach and his combinations. So Munguia, after the first three rounds was all Munguia, but then he got too comfortable, over anxious, and got in close where Munguia also likes to fight. But that's where Canelo's strong and Canelo hit him with the uppercut. But here, since he has Canelo Alvarez, who's almost six inches taller than him, and Edgar Belenga is going to be all gas, no break, stepping to him. I think that's going to give Canelo, who's good at slipping punches, the opportunity to time him, to get out the way of the big right hand and just come over the top and throw that right hand because he's not going to miss because Belenga is just right there. Man, he's got six inches on him. And Canelo, if he lands that right hand, in the right spot on the top of the head of Belanger. He's going to throw his equilibrium off. You look at what happened when he fought Jamel Charlo. Charlo 6'1". Um, Jamel, Jamel's six feet tall, I think. Berlanga's 6'1 or 6'2". But his head is going to be in a perfect position for Canelo to shoot that over-the-top right hand and land. Now, because of the height and because I think Canelo can capitalize on it, well, Canelo also has to recognize with Belenga's height and his reach that Belenga can make the fight real easy. Jab, jab, boom, right hand, step back, reset. Canelo can never get to him. So I want to know if Belenga, is he going to be all gas, no breaks? Or is he going to come in and fight with the IQ he keeps talking about? Now, I don't want to see him turn the fight into a damn coochie coup contest and try to tickle Canelo all over the ring and chicken peck him to a decision. No, I don't think this fight goes past six rounds, if you ask me. But I think in order for him to set Canelo up, to pull off what some people would be calling the upset of the, of the, 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 the biggest upset in the history of boxing, even bigger than Buster Douglas, Mike Tyson, I think he has to come in and stay disciplined. But I'm going to tell you all this. Don't be surprised at the work rate of Edgar Belenga. Jab, right hand, move it. Don't be surprised. He's going to have a different type of energy, a different type of power. He's going to have a different type of motivation and confidence. I am telling y'all to be careful and just pay attention. And we all know why, because of his uh, strength, and, strength and conditioning coach, uh, Angel Mimo Heredia. Now, I do think that Canelo is fully aware of that now, that I've realized and learned that Canelo isn't training in Mexico. He's not training in Las Vegas. This man is up in the mountains. Canelo realizes, and this is why I keep pointing it out. We gotta look closer at Canelo. He may not tell us that he recognizes that he's not the same fighter. All he says is, I still feel good, right? But I'm sure Eddie Reynoso, when he and Canelo are talking, cause you know they got a good relationship. They're so close that when Canelo went to take a piss, during, uh, for a boxing match, they were in the dressing room. Canelo was gloved up. He had to go pee. He couldn't. He had the gloves on, so he couldn't pull his shorts down. He went to the bathroom. Eddie Reynoso pulled on his shorts. Then, I guess, I don't know what else he pulled on, but he ended up grabbing Canelo's penis, holding his penis while Canelo pissed, and then he shook his penis and then pulled his shorts back up. And Reynoso was cussing at Canelo. But what I'm saying is, 
I don't even know if that's a brotherly relationship, but they they have a type of closeness and there ain't no gay shit. They just, they like family, right? So that's like a joke between them and Reynoso always makes sure Canelo takes a piss or shit or whatever before they even wrap up the glove because Reynoso's like, I'm not doing that shit again. But I believe Reynoso, because of the close relationship he has with Canelo and he trains him, I'm sure Reynoso sees that Canelo's strong, still looks good, but there's something missing. And I'm telling you all that I've seen that in Canelo's fights. When he fought right, he was talking about, I was hurt. Then he's talking about, you know, I'm back, I'm back. Canelo, Canelo is, is not back. I don't think Canelo's back. And when he's talking about, when I'm like this, nobody can beat me. I don't, I don't buy into that. I think it's the opponent selection. And I think going into this fight, I think Eddie Reynoso told Canelo, like, listen, you got to be, you know, turned on and be careful. I'm sure they talk about it. And I'm sure Canelo's coming into this fight and he's taking additional steps to make sure he doesn't end up getting clipped by the young, hungry, bigger, stronger Belenga. But it doesn't matter what he wants to do mentally, it's if his body can hold up. If he beats Belenga, Canelo deserves a lot of credit. See, people just looking at everything Canelo's accomplished. They're looking at all the fighters he fought. And then they want to compare those fighters to Belenga and say, ah, Belenga doesn't have the IQ, the skill set. Ah, man, you know, 20 of him would make up one Caleb Plant. 100 of him would make up a Mayweather. Not bullshit. Canelo is not the guy who fought Caleb Plant anymore. He's not the guy who got in there with Mayweather. And although he lost, the young guy, a charismatic guy through those combinations. Canelo is an OG in the game. He's old school. He's an old bag of farts now. So he has to, has to evolve his style to make sure that he can do the things that his mind wants, his, is commanding his body to execute. And it's, it can't execute everything that his mind wants it to do. So he has a, a, a particular selection of punches, of footwork, of head movement, um, of, of uh, game plans that he tries to utilize when he gets in the ring now. And it's been working. It's been serving him pretty damn good. I just don't think he beats Edgar Belenga. But it's going to be interesting to see if he can pull it off. That's why I said in the, uh, when I was on live earlier, Edgar, uh, Canelo Alvarez, to me, against Belenga, is nothing but Mayweather against Canelo. Mayweather was older, the old wise owl. Canelo was a young, hungry lion. Now Canelo's the old wise owl, and Belenga's a young, hungry lion. But Mayweather had the IQ and skill set to offset any and everything Canelo tried. Does Canelo have the skill set and the IQ to offset any and everything that Belenga is going to try. I don't know. I don't know. Does he have the better resume? Of course. But is Canelo IQ-wise on the level that Mayweather was when Mayweather fought Canelo? I don't think Canelo could ever get the IQ that Mayweather had. As a result, I'm giving Belenga a good chance to clip Canelo. Also, you look at Belenga. Man got baptized. He ain't really worried about the money. Belenga went through his mistakes. This man at 22 almost blew all of his money. So he learned those mistakes. He's got a kid now. This man seemed to have his, his feet underneath him. He seems to be grounded. And he knows what happens. If he beats Canelo, he knows what happens when he wakes up the next day. He's the new face of boxing. He's the new superstar of the sport. But if he loses, he knows when he wakes up. People are going to laugh at him. He doesn't want that. And I, I have a feeling... Canelo is kind of looking beyond him already. I have a feeling he is. But we're going to see how it goes this weekend because it's hard to hurt Canelo. But Munguia showed us, if you, if you throw enough punches, Canelo can be hit and get, and get, and get hurt. And Munguia hit Canelo multiple times in the first three rounds. And I was like, shit, this thing looking good for Canelo. Then Canelo happened to land the, the punch of God in the fourth round and dropped in the uppercut and dropped Munguia. If it wasn't for that uppercut, Mugil was on his ass, wasn't he? But well, we're going to see if Canelo can pull off another one of those, uh, you know, shots from the heavens to, to slow down or discourage a Berlinga if Berlinga starts pressing him. One thing for sure, if Canelo hurts Berlinga, Canelo's going to be on him. But if Berlinga hurts Canelo, he's going to be on him. And Berlinga's mean. Berlinga's mean. He's going to come in and try to hurt him. I'm telling you, man, I, I don't think he goes past six. But them first four rounds, them first three are going to be real interesting because Belenga's going to hit him. 
can look and try that hard high guard shit and all try to counter and all that. I just think the the, the the reach, the little step back, same thing that Baval did. Berlanga's team kind of watched and saw oh, these are the styles that gave him problems. They're going to be boxer punchers, but they're also going to when when uh, once they get land a good shot, they're going to step to Canelo, and they're going to start free swinging. And we're going to see because I think Berlanga hits harder than Baval, and Baval was changing up his speed, changing up his levels. Shoe shining a bit. Baval wasn't really trying to stay in the kitchen long enough for Canelo to land nothing big. Belanga, I think, you know, if he hits Canelo with something, he's going to come and he's going to step to him because Belanga hits hard. And I don't care what you say. Canelo can get that high guard up. But when you got a guy with sledgehammer, uh, sledgehammers for fists cracking off on you, at some point, you can only take so much of that shit. Anyway, watch out for Canelo. Belenga's tall, coming over the top with that right hand, because he's going to land it if he throws it. And also watch out for Belenga. Using that little bit of boxing, jab, jab, right hand, half a step back, boom, catching Canelo, and Canelo tries to jump in. Canelo will lunge. Canelo will get over anxious. Canelo will reach. And if he realizes that he's losing, especially the first three rounds, Canelo will get desperate and jump in and try some shit. And I think that's where he'll find himself getting caught, because I think Belenga's reaction time his speed, his power, I think everything with Belenga is going to be even better because of the training regimen and the supplementation strategy that's been afforded to him by Angel Mimo Heredia. Keep cool. Great fight. I'm going live. But I think Belenga is going to pull it off. If I'm wrong, who cares? Just having a conversation. But I, I don't think so. Yo, I'm in the breeze.